as we practice, we're developing a foundation for the mind to take as its refuge. Refuge from what? Well, primarily refuge from its own defilements, its own tendency to create a lot of suffering for itself. Instead of feeding on the things that would give rise to suffering or feeding in a way that gives, would create even more suffering, we learn how to feed the mind in a way that gives it strength so that it can stand on its own. And so no matter what, no matter what happens, good, bad, indifferent, aging, illness, death, okay, the mind doesn't have to be blown off course. The mind doesn't have to lose its foundation. The mind doesn't have to tip over. If it tips over, it starts acting in ways either based on likes or dislikes, fear or delusion that tend to pull you off in the wrong direction. So you want to make sure the mind stands straight in the Dharma, stands straight in its practice. The practice of virtue, concentration, discernment, generosity, gratitude, all the good virtues of the mind. You want to stand firm in those. And you find that they take care of you not only in this lifetime, but when you have to leave this body. You'll still have something good to hold on to. There are very few sciences, there are very few types of knowledge in the world that can guarantee that. So it's worth our while to train the mind in a way that it really can learn how to depend on itself regardless of what happens to the body, regardless of what happens outside. When the mind can take care of itself, it can live in this world, it doesn't have to suffer. When it leaves this world, it still doesn't have to suffer. And that's something really special. <laughs>